Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And our live game is Portugal against France. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here, it really is. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. rises for the national anthem of Portugal. now Rui Patricio keeps goal Ricardo Carvalho Bruno Alves Fiorina Eliseu Thiago Fabio Coentrao Jean Moutinho Cristiano Ronaldo Mani Danny tasked with leading the line the whistle who do you think this turns on Jim one of the game's best ever Cristiano Ronaldo he brings a power to whatever he does and his unquenchable thirst for goals is always an enjoyable sideshow it's very rare he fails to leave his mark not to disagree with that it is the sort of situation he thrives in Showed him a clean pair of heels. Big moment! Massive goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and... That was a good example, great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Portugal trail at this early stage, how will they respond? It's anyone's ball. He's got away with one there. And so, forward it goes. Inside the first ten minutes to make it one nil. Pae. And he's through on goal. He's through, it's one on one. It's gone a long way up and away. Matweedy gets it back. Matweedy. He's missed, but by that far and that is one very relieved man between the sticks there was no way he was going to get to that and he knows it Let's 
to Nani. Thrust towards the front line. Giroud plays it out to the flank. Griezmann. And back out it comes. Now it's Giroud. Big chance! One on one! It's loose, who's getting there? Be a corner. <laughs> Danger averted for now. Hopper looking up to see who wants it. Taye. Griezmann! He scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. <laughs> oh, the cross was inch-perfect, and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. It's Griezmann! That's unlucky, just wouldn't come down. It so nearly came off for him. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. <laughs> Time added on will be two minutes. Portugal can retain the ball, but and the first half is done. France in control at half time, 2 0. The action is back on the way. Mongala, Sanya, Pogba, Giroud. Now it's Paye. Paye, Paye. Shots on. Great effort, beautifully taken. Pogba did exceptionally well to control that and get the shot away while he still had just enough room and he generated excellent power too. That should encourage another effort or two. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Evra gets into the right position to intercept. France with this only looking 2-0 lead, they are looking comfortable. Pogba puts it forwards, and he's straight offside. Bruno Alves. France had to make a change here. Now it's Paye. Giroud. Now it's Griezmann. Griezmann has been given offside.
change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Bruno Alves. Thiago. And it's Danny. Griezmann. A real chance to break. And that really should have hit the net. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attack and strike. It was so direct. Scores Giroud. Great reaction. Good save. He got a decent fist on that. Hefty challenge, but fair enough. And more and more and more. And surely that settles it. Louis Patricio. Reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? France take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. And it's Danny. Manny. Pogba. Now it's Giroud. Now it's Pogba. Varane. Oh, flags up. France, look as though they're about to make a change. Coen Chow. France are closing in on a comfortable win. Griezmann. Griezmann. Can he finish? It's in! They are running riot! When you can produce a first touch that is as good as that, you're on a winner. And it was all done with consummate ease. That's just lovely to watch. A beautiful flow. France totally rampant here. He's off on a marauding run. Valbuena has great prowess from such a distance and he can't be afforded that kind of room. I think it's asking for trouble. You must close that down. Another piece of really good defending. Ricardo Carvalho cuts it out. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Pogba, Griezmann, can he find a finish now, it's a goal, well none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run, I mean he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. France tear their opponent. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. 
France were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result, a comfortable win. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim?